So you want to be a motor vlogger. This is how you do it. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. I have come a long ways. I've been motor vlogging since 2012, May of 2012, man. I started with a clamp and a FZ. 35 camera Panasonic point-and-shoot camera with a clamp on my uh, Scorpion helmet <laughs> EXO 400 helmet <laughs> And I'll tell you guys it was really tough motor vlogging back in those days <laughs> as you could imagine and uh, So I've come a long ways and I got the GoPro Hero 2 and uh, the rest is history. I've had like tons of different action cameras over the years. I will tell you guys, the first thing you need to do to become a motor vlogger is you need to find a proper helmet that can suit your uh, action camera. Now some of you guys prefer the side view uh, where you put the ca uh, camera on the side of your helmet, which you can pretty much do that on any helmet. So you don't really need a specific helmet to do that setup. I personally don't like that view. I love the front view where I put the camera on the chin bar of the helmet. So I tend to look for a helmet that will be conducive to being able to put a GoPro Hero on the chin bar of the helmet. That's one of the reasons why I got the uh, this helmet, which is really just a Rye XD4, which is really a pretty good helmet. It works for putting the GoPro Hero on the chin bar of your helmet. Now, what I, uh, I what you need to do with most helmets, if the GoPro Hero mount is not going to be able to, it's not going to go on their flesh. So you're going to have like some space on the sides of the GoPro Hero mount. In that case, you're going to take some Sugru moldable glue and put it on the sides and let it cure overnight. And uh, so that way you don't have to worry about your camera flying off your helmet. Then use a J-hook buckle mount to attach your action camera. And if you have a GoPro Hero 7 Black, you're going to need to add an adapter box, which is going to allow you to use an external mic and power source. You can attach the adapter box to the helmet with power grip pedal tape, which is like Velcro but stronger. Next, attach the power cable with small adhesive backed cable mounts to the helmet so it makes it easy to remove the cable anytime you want. This setup will allow you to plug into a power bank which will power your camera all day so you don't have to worry about changing batteries. And as far as a mic, I use a squid mic. I'll include links to everything, by the way, in the description and comment section of my video. Or you can go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear. All my motor vlogging gear is listed there. My, also, my gear and stuff. The mic is not cheap, but believe me, guys. Through trial and error, I've gone through tons of mics. Anywhere from the Chinese mics off of eBay to more expensive ones, Sony mics. I, I've had pretty much all the microphones out there. And I've settled on this one. As you can hear in my videos, it's pretty clear. And uh, so but what I do is I wrap the excess cord around the mount. And then I usually put the mic, like in this helmet, I can put it up underneath the chin pad, uh, cheek pad cover. That's another great thing about this helmet is it has a cheek pad cover, unlike most other helmets. Uh, but my Suwami helmet, I'll just put it in between the padding and the shell of the helmet. Uh, but also, if you want to be like me, uh, you want to have a camera running all the time. So that way, when you don't have your GoPro Hero on, like I'm doing right now in this motor vlog, oftentimes in between motor vlogs, I'll cut my, my GoPro Hero off and I want a camera running though through the whole time. So I put a secondary camera on the, uh, the visor of my helmet. As you can see, I don't have one on this one yet. I have yet to install one, but I have one on my Suwami. I have the small 
Sony action camera. They don't even really sell them anymore. You have to get them used, which I'll include a link to one where you can get one off of Amazon if you want to get one. But those are the only ones that are small enough and narrow enough that will allow you to put it on the vise and you can still partially lift up your face shield on your, your helmet. Uh, now, as far as editing software that I use, I use Final Cut Pro X. Um, I've used Adobe in the past. I don't like it. I personally like Final Cut Pro X on my uh, MacBook Pro. But as far as motor vlogging, some of you guys will have a difficult time trying to be able to ride, have some sense, be ride defensively out here and, and talk at the same time. Some of you guys think I'm distracted when I'm talking, but believe me, as you can see in a lot of my motor vlogs, I stay sharp out here. <laughs> I don't play. I'm looking at every one of these cars here as potential threats. Here's an example of a car that pulls out on me while motor vlogging, but I stay sharp. You want to change it at least every 10 hours out here, because... Whoa! Oh, man! Whoa! I don't play, man. And uh, so, I would recommend that a lot of you new riders out there you know, go ride in rural areas starting off first where there's no traffic hardly, you know what I'm saying? Just for your safety. Before you, you know, get out here with the big boy motor vloggers and be able to ride in heavy traffic or whatnot and talk like a boss out here, but yet stay sharp and, and keep track of these fools out here in these cars. See here? When it comes to motor vlogging, is be yourself. When I first started off, which a lot of you guys know that I was tend to be more professional, and you guys think I made this like fake accent, which is not fake, it's just me being me, 100% me. I've done it this for so long, this is second nature. <laughs> this is like walking and chewing gum. It's nothing to me now after nearly seven years. Uh, but it's gonna take you some time to develop the skill to be able to talk, like I said, stay sharp out here riding. And just, you need to be yourself though. Just be yourself. Don't try to be like me. Don't try to be like any other motor vlogger's personality. Just do you. Be yourself. And try to and be comical, you know. Smell that funk in the air out here in the hood. <laughs> That's how you know you're in the ghetto, boy. You smell that, that inner city stank. You see that, that old Cadillac. They riding in the caddy. That's all that matters out here in the hood. You ride in the caddy, baby. You doing it right. You don't want to have a boring motor vlog and use lots of cuts, edits in your videos. Keep people interested. That's what I try to do with my videos. And as far as uh, you know, motor vlog ideas, um, I, I'm really good at just coming up with ideas. I've always been good with just coming up with topics. I don't know. I just come up with anything, you know. So just uh, have fun with it. Be yourself, like I said, first and foremost. And uh, I would highly recommend that you don't cuss. I did early on. <laughs> a little bit too much. You'll be walking around here like a crackhead. These, these chicks don't give a about you, man. They think you're an arrogant asshole. You know what I'm saying? And then YouTube got strict with stuff and started demonetizing videos. It was a mess. I wish I'd have never cussed. Believe me, man. <laughs> And uh, so that's why you don't really hear me cuss anymore. And if I do, I bleep it out. Uh, YouTube is Disney now. So you got to be Disney pretty much or try to be. I'm not Disney 100%. You know, I'm still a little ghetto. But <laughs> but uh, I try to be more Disney. Now, I'm in the trailer park out here. now. <laughs> Check this out. We're in the trailer park. Single wives. I think this is the first time I've ever been I've, got, I've ever been over here man just checking out some single wide action out here <laughs> no hate on here I may end up in a single wide one day actually I think single wides are cool man I don't have nothing to get no hate I'm not hating just checking out the neighborhood single wide neighborhood bet you a lot of cool people live around here Cheap living, baby. I'm all about cheap living. As far as picking a motorcycle to motor vlog on, I mean, I tell you guys, you know, for some reason, uh, sport bikes are obviously the most popular, and you're gonna probably get more gain more viewers with uh, a super bike, super sport, or super bike type of motorcycle. 
uh, rather than dirt bikes or cruisers or dual sports or whatnot. Just, I don't know why, because in my opinion, dual sports and dirt bikes are the most fun that you can have on a motorcycle. These super modems, man. I don't care. I didn't get the bike to gain more viewers with this. I got the bike because I absolutely love it and I have so much fun on this bike. But I wish you guys all the best with your motor vlogging. And uh, like I said, if you want to get links to all my motor vlogging stuff, like I said, it's in the description and comment section of this video. So tell me, have you tried the motor vlog? If you did, how did you like it? Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.